to the next bit. And this is our last team from the NFC West, the Arizona Cardinals. Their win total is seven this season. So that is up a full game and a half from what it was last year. Yeah, it's big. Um, a, lot, a lot of people really believing in what Kyler Murray did. Obviously, they're, they got Deshaun, uh, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Sorry. They got uh, they got Hopkins. They've still got Larry Fitzgerald. They uh, they still got Patrick Peterson. They You know, this is a team that's got guys. Uh, they needed offensive line help. They needed linebacker help. And they needed cornerback help. Uh in their first round pick, they got linebacker Isaiah Simmons out of Clemson. He can play anything. They've got him listed at linebacker. He can play cornerback. He can play safety. He can play linebacker. He can play uh, edge rusher. He, I mean, the guy does everything. It's just ridiculous. Now, the question is, he can do everything, but is he great at anything? Um, at Clemson, against the competition that they went up against, he was great at everything. I don't know what that necessarily means for the NFL. Yeah, I'm really curious. That's my question mark with him. I, I think he's an, just a crazy athlete and, and can do so many different things, but I worry how exceptional will he be at any of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's roll through the rest of it. Round three, tackle Josh Jones out of Houston. That was a value pick. There were people that were talking about the idea that Josh Jones could go late first round, maybe early second round. They got yep. him a pick 72 in the third round. Uh, they got, uh, let's see, Lakai Fotu out of Utah. Obviously, I'm a big-time fan of the Utah defensive line. He was a monster. Uh, Richard Lawrence in the fourth round out of LSU, another guy that uh, that could make an impact on the game. Linebacker Evan Weaver out of Cal in the sixth round. I thought that was also a value pick. And then round seven, they finally went running back. They got Eno Benjamin out of Arizona State. Uh in, in yesteryear, Eno Benjamin would have been a second or third round pick. In this year's draft, they got him in the seventh round at pick 222, and I think that is incredible value because Eno Benjamin was a stud for Herm Edwards in Arizona State. So, I'm, Evan I'm, Weaver... I'm, I'm great with this pick. Seventh round, this is what you should be doing. A sixth round, Evan Weaver out of Cal. Obviously, linebacker, he was fantastic under Justin Wilcox's offense, I mean, uh, defense. I, yep. I, I like every pick that they made. Every single pick. I, if if I'm if we are picking a winner for this division, I think the Cardinals won this NFL draft. I think this was a yeah, in this in this conference, draft. in this division, yes. Yeah. I I, 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 I love I this. A clear winner. So I they they didn't tackle, you know, every single need that they had. But you um, can't. They didn't have enough picks to tackle every single need that they had. And, and that's the thing. They they had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. They had six and one picks. of those picks, they traded for DeAndre Hopkins. And that is totally reasonable, right? That's pretty strong. Now, obviously, you needed some cornerback help. You didn't get that, but that's okay. I and think how is that different by. than Jalen Ramsey? Because Hopkins is already locked up and signed to a long-term deal. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So, well, long-term, I think he's only got two years left, right? But that, that you still got him for two years. Like, yeah, it's a wide good. receiver, man. Yeah, I think it's fun. and and a veteran. And wide they're receiver not cap strapped the way the Rams are. You got that right. I I love this Cardinals draft. I think that they hit they they got value on every single pick that they made. Uh, this I think this was great. Like I don't think you can ask for any more out of Cliff Kingsbury and that bunch. Um, I mean this is this is what you want out of a second year head coach. Like they are I building agree. towards an identity, and I like this. I like this a lot. So. Uh, I'm guessing you feel the same way. Yep. Nope. They're the winner of this one. Who's the loser? Man, I, I'm gonna say the Seahawks, but I trust them too much to make them the loser. I guess. Like I'd maybe. Say the Rams. Yeah, I'll let you say the Rams. I'll, I'll say the Seahawks for now because I just it, like it seemed like every person they took was a flyer. Like I don't feel like they got value at any single pick that they made. Um, yeah. No, they didn't, and they didn't, and they didn't. So, and but I, I don't, I don't. I don't think outside of the Cam Akers pick did they get value, but I don't call that value when you need to be preparing for life without a lot of guys, yeah. and you're not doing that. Yeah, it, it almost seems like the you're Rams... taking a guy that history says he'll be done in three years. Yeah, uh, I mean to be fair, like they they need a running back uh, to go along with, but uh, but Henderson. do they? I mean, I would think there right? nobody else they could have taken in the fifth round or the eighth round no i mean they, they could have got like, Benjamin I mean, late they could have got all sorts of people late yeah you're right i mean there's running backs to be had your very first draft pick you take a running back when you've got a lot of other needs that yeah, and here's the problem 
I, this year, people look at this year right now. Oh, this year they don't have any of those holes. You're right. They don't have any of those holes this year. But they're going to next year and the year after and the year after. And unless you think they're poised to win the Super Bowl this year, then you don't go get a running back. Yeah. yeah and I don't think they are, by the way. I don't but think they are either. Because I'm never going to believe in Jared Goff. I think we saw the best we're ever going to see from him. I think you're I think you're probably right. You're probably right. All right, uh, that is going to wrap up today's show. Obviously, we appreciate everybody that jumped in on the comments. You guys are fantastic. You help make the show run. We always appreciate you guys being in here. Uh, go and check out the rest of the clips from today's show if you missed out. We, uh, we are always thankful for you guys for doing that. Of course, share the show out. Tell your buddies about it. Make sure you are subscribed on all the different platforms, podcast apps, or the live show, Twitch, Periscope, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, Chris, is there anything else we need to hit today? Nope, that's it. That is it. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. And as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris.